Senator Gillibrand was on the island today hoping to bring attention to the fentanyl crisis and to pass a bill to curb overdose deaths. Hundreds of people died from overdoses in Suffolk County just last year. And while the bill is stalled in the House, she and Long Island parents are hoping this gets the ball rolling to save lives. Fox 5's Michelle Ross has a story there. It's time to crack down on these criminal drug networks and do what we need to do to keep our community safe. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand is determined to pass the Fend Off Fentanyl Act, which stands for Fentanyl Eradication and Narcotics Deterrence. At Thrive Recovery Community and Outreach Center in Hop Hog, she stood with parents who lost their children to overdose. In 2022, more than 400 deaths were caused by drug overdoses here in Suffolk County, with fentanyl driving many of these tragedies. Fentanyl is a prescription drug meant to treat severe pain, but is also made and used illegally. In 2022, the DEA seized more than 386 million potentially deadly doses, which is enough to kill every American. DEA also said that the majority of illegal fentanyl entering the U.S. is made with Chinese chemical supplies and manufactured in Mexico. Carol Trottier lost her son to fentanyl poisoning in 2018. All these people speak the same language. It's not Chinese, it's not Spanish, it's not English. Money. Mm -hmm. They speak money. Gillibrand says the Fend Off Fentanyl Act would allow the United States to track and stop the flow from its source and help agencies go after cartels, gang members, and drug enterprises that drive these drugs into our communities. It would also declare the international trafficking of fentanyl a national emergency. The bill passed in the Senate last month as part of a bipartisan national security supplemental package, but is stalled in the House of Representatives. This is the leading cause of death of those under the age of 50. The Suffolk County parents of 14-month-old Joseph Adonis were charged in January after the baby died of an overdose. And the toxicology report found fentanyl in his system. As more young people die, parents are burying their children. It's something you always say, the club that no one wants to belong to, and it, it's life-altering. And while the bill is stalled in the House, Senator Gillibrand is calling on Speaker Mike Johnson and other House Republicans to help move it forward. In Hop Hog on Long Island, Michelle Ross, Fox 5 News.